What up, guys? Welcome to Make It Make It Math. I know. It's got good. It's going to get even better. All right, I want to show you a fun, <laughs> I say fun, I'm going to show you a way to uh, simplify an expression, okay? And whenever it asks for simplify this expression, it'll show you how. So say you've got um, a list of terms, 4 plus 4x four plus 8x squared minus 2x plus x squared, okay? When we want to simplify an expression, that means we want to make this smaller. We want to make it as condensed as possible. Sometimes you can't con condense it at all, okay? Um, but then again, sometimes you can. Um, we don't have an equal sign here, okay? So that's something to take note. If you had an equal sign, a lot of times it'll say uh, evaluate or solve. With simplify, it means you're just going to make it smaller, okay? Um, here's what I recommend. This is the way I recommend to work these problems. Whenever you are going to simplify it, start with your variable that has the largest exponent. Because whenever you're working things out, you want it to go, you want it to flow down to no exponent, like x to the third plus x squared plus x plus a number. Okay? We want it to flow down from the highest exponent attached to a variable to the just simply coefficient, just to simply to the not coefficient, but simply to the number. Okay? Coefficients will be in there too. But that's just a fun fact. So if we go ahead and approach the problem in a way to where it's going to equal what we want without us having to rearrange everything and worry about bringing our pluses or our minuses or whatever's in front of it, okay? So start with your largest, which is x squared. You have this problem. You can write on your paper. Circle it and the sign in front of it. That's important. A lot of people don't do that. So now we just start. Do we see any more x squareds? Boom, shaka waka. Okay? Now, we work this just like a regular problem, 2 plus 2 is 4 kind of stuff. So you've got positive 8 plus, we know that that's always 1, so it'll be 9. It's our coefficients added together, and then x squared stays in there. Now, mark it out. It's your paper. Do what you want. Listen to your heart when it's calling to you. Next, what's after x squared? It'll be x. So I circle all my stuff with x. Don't forget the signs. 4x minus 2x was 4 minus 2 positive 2, and then the x stays there. It doesn't subtract the x from it, guys. And then I'm left with a positive 4. Don't forget your plus sign because it's positive. And that's simplified, okay? That's how you simplify an expression. Um, believe in your dreams. That's all I've got. Hello. Thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe. Maybe.